quick before the video gets started, just want to let you guys know the M&J TV merch store where you can find designs like the one I am wearing right now is closing forever on February 12th, meaning that the designs currently found in the store are going away permanently on February 12th, 2018. So if you want some M&J TV merch, you have until then to pick it up. And now is definitely a good time to do it because it's your last chance, but also because the entire store is discounted 10%. And if you use this code at checkout, you'll get an extra 10% off. So it's a really good deal. So if you want some M&J TV merch before it goes away permanently, head to the link down in the description below and pick up some M&J TV merch before it's gone forever. Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Insurgents. Let's play my very first journey through this critically acclaimed Pokemon fan game. If you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to drop a like, make sure you answer the comment question, and if you missed the last episode, you're going to want to make sure you check that out so you know why we're in the middle of a desert. And actually, it's the it's the middle of a town. It's the middle of a town, not just a desert. Um, we are going to go back into the desert, though, because I skipped a lot of trainers, and I need experience points. Uh, so... Excuse me, sir! Fight me, please! Dorothy! Hiker Dorothy! That is a... That is... Why is that your name? Dang it. Dang it, now I'm slow. Thank you for not using a fighting move, though. Like a high jump kick? High jump kick 100% would've KO'd. <laughs> that would've been very bad! Giggle it! I'll remain fighting you. You're so cool, though. Oh, my God. Aw, oh, man, that's all that does. Freaking... Sandstorm, why you gotta be like that? Alright, stealth rocks are up. So I need to make sure I remember that. Because if I don't, then I'm in trouble. Faulty! Stantler. Alright, we'll stay in against the Stantler. Raphael is a good lead for this battle. Oh, come on. Oh, so close. Oh, wait, is Sandstorm? Dang it. That sucks. Can't hit it with Shadow Sneak. We'll just hit it with Knock Off. All right, we finished off Stantler. Hooray! Okay, well, let's put uh, someone else in front. Let's put Mono in front. Mono's only level 38. Mono a Mono. Or Repel. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Did not see you there. Uh, I guess fake out. That did almost nothing. What's a shadow punch do? Wow, that almost nothing. How much does Nightshade do? We're gonna have to switch out soon if this isn't going well. Oh, that did quite a bit, actually. We killed the Cobb Inc. Good work, Mono. Pseudo Wudo. We will switch Pokemon. Raphael's kind of kind of hurting, so we're gonna use Sonora, even though Sonora is the highest level Pokemon on the team right now. But Sonora is fine with the Sandstorm, so. Come on! What is it with this game? My god! So many Pokemon barely surviving. It happens like two or three or four times an episode. Which is absurd. What is what is this? It's just a bunch. It's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. A rock. <laughs> <laughs> where are the wild encounter boxes in this place? I don't even know where they are. Like, what is... Where am I... I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, so this is the top ledge of the desert. Clearly. Did I fight you? No, I didn't. Alright, well, lots of battles we're doing. Which is good, because we need money. 
Money, 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 money rocking everywhere. Fake out. I really need a water type on my team. Uh, Shadow Punch. Oh no, he's so fast. He's gonna outspeed everybody on the team anyways. I don't, it doesn't matter. Nightshade. I think Shadow Punch does more. But I also think he outspeeds us here. So. None of you were crap. I just realized that my team has a severe rock weakness, and that's not good. <laughs> Three of them are weak to rock. And it's a flying type. All right, we should just use a potion on Mono. Uh, hyper potion, because... Stupid seeds I think Shadow Punch did more. Yeah, alright, cool. Nasty Plot, you're a physical attacker! No way you're learning Nasty Plot, you silly floating head ghost arm monkey. What's wrong with you? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, I guess we'll put Telsa back in front. Tells it is super cool in multiple senses of the word. Oh, an Ultra Ball. Huzzah! Free things! What's over here? This is the cave, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. I don't. I think there were trainers I skipped before the cave, but I don't think there were any I skipped after. Uh, sure. We we'll use another repel. Regular repel. Okay, yeah, no, we skipped her, too. Okay. <laughs> Dang it! Oops, hit the wrong button. All right, Sand Tomb time. Hiya! That might hurt. That actually kind of hurt quite a bit. Ha-ha! <laughs> I planned this. Ice Beam! Woo, yeah! Let's go! That is so powerful! That is a massive upgrade to Telsa's battling capabilities. And she was already good. Okay, I already fought all these people. Okay. Great ball! Ball that is great! I need me some great balls. Oh gosh, dang it! Why? Why are there so many of you who are... Gosh darn! Haha, <laughs> I don't care. Oops. All right, let's see how much, uh, let's see how much sludge does. That actually did more than I thought it would, but so did that. All right, you know what? Um, I need somebody to, need somebody to heal up. We're gonna heal up Sonora. I think we're gonna let, uh, we're, we're gonna let, oh. Well, that's okay. Free switching without somebody dying. That's what I like to see. Aha! A free switching! That was awesome! Stop that. Uh, let's just use Sand Tomb. You're almost dead. I know you have. But Sand Tomb damage and Sandstorm damage should KO. Yep, yep, I was right. Man, they got beat down by the sand! Ah, dang it. Alright, well, let's use Sand Tomb again. Make sure you, uh,. I need a water type. <laughs> earthquake. He used Earthquake too? That is not acceptable. Nobody Earthquakes except for me. No. Can I beat you with a sand too? Uh, 
Let's go! <laughs> yes, I didn't have to use a potion. Oh, I'm very pleased that that occurred. Look at me go. Did I already fight you? I honestly should have tried to avoid that guy. I should have run back to the Coral Town Pokemon Center. And I'm weak to you, uh, but... Everybody's too beat up. They all get a free switch in. Nope, all right, wow, that was worst case scenario. That is a ground type move against a fire poison type, and that's awful. Um, Let's just go Urchin, because Urchin has full health. Ah, uh, why, why do I keep doing that? Uh, let's just hope we get, flinch it. Aha, my move is not priority. You waste your turn. Okay, we really need to avoid. Aha! Aha! Terrible decisions! Maybe, like, bo maybe Bone Rush is his only attack. Attacking move. Alright, well, uh, we need to, uh, get the super potion. And avoid all the trainers. Run back to the Pokemon Center here in the lovely Coral Town. And I ran down there. What am I doing? No more repel. Heal everyone, please. Nurse Professor! Back to the desert. I think that that's either like the last guy or like the third to last guy. Oh, I... We gotta get a repel active again. And also I should buy more of those when we get to the other town. Where are the trees? I have not fought you! Please have just all ground types. That works. Ice Beam. Don't have Sturdy. Dang it, it had Sturdy. Dang it, it used Self-Destruct. Oh, we held on! Lairon still gotta, we gotta switch. Uh, Man, Sonora is, why is ground type so good? <laughs> Sonora is getting so overleveled. I do like they had a different sound for four times super effective though. That is awesome. Hey, Shuckle. Sand Tomb for residual damage. Oh, a crit, that was nice. My ability was suppressed. Oh no. Now it's going to use vines against me. It's not. I'm like 90% sure that there's no other trainers. Yeah, like I battled this guy. Okay, we're good. Let's just, let's just get the heck out of this godforsaken desert and go back to, uh... oh, <laughs> that was all, oh wait, we're not actually, Never mind. I was like, oh, the step before the exit, that's amazing. You know, I'm just gonna kill you because I can. Ha ha. Take that, you Vibrava! No Vibravo for you. Pokemon Center is up here. Heal my Pecker Horse, please! Alright, uh. I guess Urchin needs experience. Well, so does Mono. The two Pokemon that need experience are the ones I'm, like, not sure I'm gonna stick around. I'm gonna keep around, I mean. Cause like, Swoobat's been helpful, but like, I want a super cool, I want a super cool Delta. Route six, thank God for a lack of sand. We're going to go with the strategy of uh, avoid all the trainers that we can. What is that? That's sketchy as all heck. What the, n what the heck? Oh no, the bug catcher. We have avoided the bug catcher, look at us go. Whoa, so many goodies down there. How do I get down there? A revive, nice. 
A lot of the routes in this place look very similar. They're just like grassy paths with trees and water. There's gotta be a hidden grotto. Gosh dang it. Farfetched? Get out of my presence. Well, I thought it'd be along this, but I don't see one. This is clearly important. Oh no. The youngster, he saves me. Oh, what the heck? I just hit A by accident and I just found a protector. Wow. The Flash. No one can see me. There's got to be like a booty load of hidden items around here, right? Like that's what this is? What is the, what is the point of this? Well, all right then. Gosh dang it. A go goat. You need to you need to go goat away. Whoa! Whoa! I don't have time for this. <laughs> for a second I thought the game glitched and like made a Lapras appear because I was a Lapras. Cool Pokemon on this route, but none of them are Delta, Dash, so none of them excite me. Ah, yes. The old uh, Pokemon trope of random fences that are here for like, no reason. And I have to navigate through them. Because the developers are sadists. Where is the exit? Oh, okay, I see. Man, why do I suck at finding hidden grottos? I feel like... Every single time, I'm like, I didn't find one. Ah, I must not have one. Route seven. Whoa, two back-to-back -back routes? I call shenanigans. Oh, oh, something to seed flare. Where is, where is this? We will use it. Seed flare. Spear! And now we can surf to a rare candy. Just a rare candy? Where are the hidden grottos? I know they are here somewhere. I know what to look for, and yet somehow I cease to be able to find them. They're like little, little dark spots. How do I get around you? Can I go behind this? Oh crap, yes I can. <laughs> that startled the heck out of me. <laughs> Man, it's level 43? 100% after this episode, we are, um... Crap, it outsped me. This sucks. 100% uh, after this episode, I'm doing some more... Some more, uh, I don't know... Stuff. Because these trainers are getting way too strong way too quickly. Now I'm water type? Now I got a new nightshade. Well, I appreciate you just deciding not to attack me, so... Like, even after you... Heliolisk, okay. Just didn't attack me, like, even after I was no longer immune to its double edge, it still just didn't attack me. That was weird. Haha, -ha, your quick attack is no match. You're dead now, Heliolisk! Absol! Alright, that is our, uh, fighting friend's job. Dang it. Or a sphere again! Haha, -ha, that does nothing. We have defeated the Absol. Good work, team Torque team. Tells us unconscious, but you know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna be fine. Whoa! What is this? Oh hey, we're here! Oh sick! Michael, you're finally here. I have some bad news. I went to the Jade Tower to warn the Augur. There were already cultists there, 
We need to find another entrance in and quickly. What if we can get in through the sewers or something? Uh, no. We, eh, we, I have a feeling it's going to be fine. Well, now we get to talk to everyone again. Pokemon in Helio City is a tad bigger than the other ones, such as because our economy is so fantastic we can afford. Okay. A huge... Oh, a department store. Ooh, that's got to have very important things in it for sure. I get to cut everyone in line. Because I'm so much more important than the average NPC. Uh, I bought some more repels. I think I'm good for now. Definitely got to try and preserve that cash when possible. Who are you? You heard all about the interesting Pokemon in the Alola region, those totem Pokemon, Titan all Ultra Beasts are fascinating. I don't think we can find any in the Torn region right now, but maybe in the future when more information is released about them. Nice. No. I don't know. I'm not spending any money on customization. I need to save my money for... Oh. Well, thank you, lady. Definitely need to save my money. Delta Pokemon? Delta. Heard rumors about a Delta Pokemon in the northern end of the region. Some kind of Totodile Chikorita? No, I think it was the other one. Cyndaquil. Well, northern end of the region is something we're still far away from. Hmm. I hope they just sort themselves out. I will take care of defeating all the cults. Don't you worry, sir. Move to leader, move... Uh, name raider. Move to leader and name raider. That's what those are. Did I talk to this lady? Oh, I did. Ah! not speed things up so much. Hello! Is this Lumio City? Haha, <laughs> amusement. It's known for worldwide for its huge department store in the Jade Tower. It's the capital city. We provide the government for the rest of the region. They take care of our food and technology. Okay. It's a department store, a huge tower, and plenty of other things. If you're looking to get into the Jade Tower, I heard it's closed. It might be under attack, but who knows? Uh, it's under attack. Um... I heard there was somebody in the city trading away a bar boat. If you want to get a whisk cash, better get on that. Da -da 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 -da! I like Chadot's cry, and that's the only thing I like about it. I see you on TV. There's just something about you. I actually, I have been on TV. Incredible, attractive, and amazing battle. Well, so he tells us. And since everything the auger says is true, he must be right. Okay, this guy's clearly evil and manipulative. Ooh, ooh, please take this item to help you. Under oh, nice. That's pretty awesome. Ginormous sewer system under the city is pretty gross. It's filled with gabdo. There's an entrance right below the department store, which is probably why its basement smells so bad. Okay, well now we know how to get to the sewers. No one is in this house. Except you, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Want to sell you this egg? No. Somebody told me don't buy any eggs. They're all like just hapini and other weak things. Drift. It's illegal to buy and sell Pokemon, but most people turn a blind eye towards if you want to buy the really rare ones, so you'll need to look at the black market. The black market? Where do I get where do I go to that? I always wanted a Gyarados. If you train one, I'll trade you a Barboach. Okay, I found this like I don't really care about a Barboach. The only in-game trades that interest me are the ones with deltas! Heard East, the gym leader of Helio City, has a team based around the sky. I mean, sounds like a good ice type completely tears through his gym. Bold predictions, he's got something to counter ice types. Um, favorite type of Pokemon is the Psychic type. What? Just because I'm a black belt doesn't mean I have to love fighting types. Stereotypes are bad. I agree, sir. Uh, another house. Hello, hello. Hello, fire. Would you like to trade Pokemon to change you my Delta Lotad for any dragon type? What? Holy crap! Delta Lotad, that's amazing! I totally want that. I have no idea what type it is. But I, it's a Delta Pokemon, so therefore I want it. Although I feel like I should probably wait until next episode. Because the only Dragon type I have is Axew, and part of me is like, probably shouldn't trade Axew away, because I don't know if I could get it anywhere else. <laughs> 
You know? Hello, hello. Hello, sir. Okay. Did I scare you? Oh, tried. Never. Oh, nice. Are there any, like, I need to look up, like, if there's, like, a place for me to get dragons. Vibrava! I can catch a Vibrava. Xavier. Xavier? To live here, believe it or not, running the gym in Vivica City is just a job, after all. I'll tell you what. If you get the badge in this city, I'll give you a gift. All right? Need to remember that. This guy is a slob. He's got these boxes just sitting everywhere. Founded 60 years ago by King Vesrin. After he left to go discover new lands, he left this region leaderless. Only recently did the first August Augur step up. Okay. Okay. I admit that that was very sweet. But that doesn't make Jinx not terrible. I'm surprised that Delibur didn't give me a present. My Smeargle for a Stunky. Uh, no. I was exploring the sewers under the city, but there was this icky green gunk I couldn't get past. If there was only one some way to clean it, turn it into normal water. Ooh, I know how to do that. Oh, whoa, holy crap, an ability capsule? That's crazy. Are there any of you who have abilities that suck? I don't even know, I'd have to look up what your other abilities are. Infiltrator. Definitely don't want to change Sap Sipper. Oh, I didn't know it had analytic. That's really good. Clear body. Maybe, I'd have to look at what their other abilities are to see if there's anything that's worth that's like better before I decide to. Graw! The making of custom moves was banned a few years ago. It's too dangerous to allow just anyone to make their own. Just between you and me, though, I heard there was a black market somewhere you could get one made for you. What? Where is this black market? I feel like I can get some sick things down in there. Red of Kant, of course, I've heard of him. They say he's one of the strongest trainers of all time, but disappeared. I wonder what happened to him. Is it possible he found a secret all training and that's why he never returned? That Pikachu are evil! All right, well, if I ever get Shaman, I now know how to change its form. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Ah, man. Okay, I bet that's how I progress. I bet I get rock climb for being this gym leader, and that's how I move on to the next route. Or maybe not. What is this? Scram, kid, you're not allowed in here. The sky calls booth. Helios right now. You can't leave. Okay, never mind. That's how I leave. Well, this is interesting. I have lost track of which houses I have been into. <laughs> I should go to the department store, that's right. First floor. Potion Falls Repels. Incense Fur for Grooming. Okay, what's the second floor? TMs. Third floor. Firestones to Electorizer. Oh! Okay. There's no hole that leads down to the sewers into a black market underneath the city in the base. Okay! <laughs> well, let's check what's out. What's going on down here? Aw, oh, man. Why does everything have to be so freaking dark? This is annoying. Wanna learn a move or two? Interesting. So, what the heck? Oh, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Maybe I do, that was actually. Okay, suddenly the encounter rate has gone from zero to too many. I wanna see like, cause people were talking about how they sell Pokemon down here. So it's like, what are they selling?
fan back up. Okay, I need the seed flare. Oh, Max Revive, sick! All right, it's probably gonna be necessary in a battle in this game. Man, this is, why does it have to be so dark? I need a map of this place. Just stumbling about like a darn fool. Hmm. Oh, well, guys. Since I appear to... I Who knows how long I could spend down here. I want to see if I can find a map online, but I think that's best done off camera. And I also think I want to get that low tad. So I think I'm going to probably off camera go back to the desert and catch uh, a uh, Vibrava to trade to that guy for the Delta Lotad because that looks super awesome. But anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you answer the comment question. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, boogie fans, got to catch them all.